Panoramic Technologies' new SEM simulator allows the user to simulate the CD SEM tool to simulate how a SEM image would look. Um, in this video we'll be talking about the SEM image simulator itself and in another video we'll talk about the SEM image analysis measuring the CDs from the SEM. So there's two important aspects here the SEM image formation or the SEM simulator and measuring the SEM. Why should we model the SEM? The reason is is because in practice you cannot measure the width of a resist feature directly. You can only measure the width of the feature in the SEM image. And so if you want to compare simulated resist profiles to experimental SEM images, that may not be a valid comparison because it's not an apples to apples. Let's look at this graphically. So without SEM modeling, you have a feature, a resist feature, which you're going to measure at a particular location. Now there's different algorithms to measure, but one of the simplest ones is to just measure at a certain height and measure the width here and you get some value but in practice you can't measure this feature directly you have to form a SEM image of it and the SEM image gives you a SEM signal or in this case several SEM signals that are averaged across uh, 12 cut lines so you're averaging in the y direction, the cut line is in the x direction, and then you get a SEM signal which then some algorithm measures. And what you measure in your simulation may be different than what is measured in from the SEM, sim, the SEM image. So this is not an apples to apples comparison. With SEM modeling then you are generating from the simulated resist profile you're generating a simulated SEM image and then you have now the ability to measure the simulated SEM image in the exact same way that you measure the experimental SEM image so now you can use this is a true apples to apples comparison and you are comparing simulated SEM CDs to experimental SEM CDs when you measure roughness there's always an issue about where should I measure this resist profile should I measure at the top at the bottom should I average this out how should I do this but when you measure roughness on a SEM image it's a little bit more clear you have a SEM measurement algorithm that gives you a CD at several places and then you take the um, stochastic analysis of those various CDs. So basically this again is necessary if you're going to compare roughness of simulated resist profiles you should really compare the roughness of simulated SEM profiles to actual SEM profiles. Another thing about the SEM is that sometimes the SEM uh, can hide a problem that the resist simulation would show and vice versa so here this contact is not going all the way through but the SEM it's not really evident on the SEM so if you're doing resist calibration and you're measuring these contacts down here then it may not be valid because the SEM is showing you the top SEM also induces shrinkage so um, in this case, these are simulated SEM images as the shrinkage is increased. So here we have no shrinkage, and here I think we have 10% um, and 20% shrinkage. Um, it might be 5% and 10%, I'm not sure. But as you can see, that the, this line angle is changing. Here it's vertical and horizontal, and then after you shrink it, the top is moving, the base is fixed. Now we've had a paper on this, um, there's been several papers, 
uh, about shrinkage and SIM. But um, it's important to be able to, if you're calibrating a resist and your SEM is giving you this, it's important to also be accounting for that shrinkage in your simulation. The shrinkage, the SEM shrinkage also uh, reduces the resist height. Um, but again, that's, that, that may not be important because the SEM can't really look at the height. So in the next video, uh, we'll talk about how we measure SEM images. So here we just talked about how we produce. Let me just show you quickly what, where the SEM simulator is in, in Hyperlith. This will be in version 7 of Hyperlith. So everything looks normal here. You've got your um, mask technology, your mask pattern. In this case, we've got a line NT, uh, your stepper setup, and then your resist. And if you're using a thick resist model, in other words, one that outputs a profile, then you can uh, have a SEM simulator here. So it's just a new tab here, the SEM simulator, and uh, that produces a SEM image. And the SEM image also gets measured just like the resist profile does and just like the aerial image does. So it's essentially a new simulator. Okay, in the next video we'll talk about our SEM image analyzer.